glorified ghosts caught on camera, hidden. Not too long ago, I featured a video by Czech ghost hunter Bono from the YouTube channel ILMN Bono Paranormal. In the video, Bono traveled to an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. The factory has been deserted for almost 60 years after a large explosion in the building tragically took the lives of several workers. The factory is said to be haunted by the angry, restless spirits of the deceased workers. Now, since his last video, Bono has returned to the Czech factory to show new viewers and subscribers that came over for my video where he captured all of the terrifying activity. Most of you are probably from Nuke's Top 5 video, so welcome everyone. Actually, what Nuke got wrong is that this window is, was not a, ref a reflection. Behind this window is this hallway. So the figure of the ghost must walk here. And here is the closet. Hmm. That's weird. It was op it was opened before. What is here? Everything the same, I think. As you saw, oh my god, <laughs> I got scared so much that I accidentally stopped the recording. <sighs> there was like caps and it fell. Oh my god, that is a mess. I was standing right here, it was just like a meter behind me. Almost immediately, strange things start to happen in the old abandoned factory. Bono is startled by the sound of cups suddenly crashing to the floor. He decides to just leave that area and do an EVP session in another part of the abandoned factory. He uses his iPhone to record audio as he asks a few questions in his native Czech language. He requests that the spirits give him a sign of their presence. He gets a frightening answer. Můžeš mi dát nějaké znamení, že tu jsi? It sounds like something is thrown in Bono's direction. Shocked, he turns toward the sound and... Did you see it? Watch again. Můžeš mi dát nějaké znamení, že tu jsi? Right after the unexplained sound, a translucent shadow-like figure is caught on camera quickly moving past Bono. However, he is completely unaware of what he just captured and doesn't see anything that could explain the strange sound. And this is not the only time the explorer captures something creepy on camera without even noticing. While exploring the factory, he accidentally captures something downright chilling. Uh, here is nothing, just door and I hope these uh, are not see-through because if they would be they would see my light did you see it at the end of a long hallway a shadow figure can be seen peeking out at him he pans the camera back only seconds later and the dark figure has disappeared Bono has no idea but something seems to be following him as he explores the factory. And the strange paranormal activity in the building just seems to intensify. As you can see, I am just right here. The big hall is there and... No, no, no way. No way. A heavy cart inexplicably starts to roll across the floor on its own. Bono is more than a bit freaked out by the incident and runs upstairs. After giving himself a few minutes to calm down, Bono cautiously continues his exploration. Again, he shows one of the rooms from his previous video, a room that seemed to be especially active on his last visit. Things take a terrifying turn. Here is the room with the chair. This chair moved on my previous video. 
What else do we have here? Some, uh... No! Way. As Bono is showing a chair that seemed to move on its own in his previous video, a large cabinet on his left captures his attention. Suddenly, all of the doors swing open, sending the terrified explorer running from the abandoned factory. Bono decides he's had enough and just ends the video. But there's still a large area of the building that Bono hasn't explored yet. So despite all that he's seen and heard, he returns once again to film in the abandoned factory. It did not go well. As Bono is going up a staircase, he suddenly hears a sound behind him. When slowed down and brightened, you can see what appears to be the same shadow figure he captured earlier, but now it's right behind him. This time he actually sees the bizarre black mass with his own eyes, and with that he finally decides that he's had enough and he makes a run for it. So did Bono capture the restless spirits of the workers who tragically lost their lives in the old factory? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can check out Bono's full investigation, including all new videos, over on his YouTube channel, ILMN Bono Paranormal. A haunting in Holland. Now this next video was sent to me directly, and despite my efforts and research, it's pretty much shrouded in mystery. I have no idea about the specific details on this video other than to say it's very, very creepy. The video was posted to YouTube by an anonymous channel and features a woman in the Netherlands allegedly experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in her home. The woman is completely alone at home when she claims to hear unexplained sounds all around her. As she films, her ceiling lights start swinging back and forth, and the kitchen light flickers. When she looks inside the doorway, multiple drawers and a cabinet have somehow opened on their own. Now absolutely terrified, she turns to walk away when suddenly she hears the open kitchen drawer slam shut and the light goes out again. Right before the camera cuts, a strange figure can be seen looking at her from inside the doorway. Now given the anonymous nature of this video, I don't know who the woman is, and I don't know what happened to her. So for now, this video remains a complete mystery. Is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Unholy. An anonymous YouTube urban explorer who goes by the name Urbex Hill has a fairly new YouTube channel dedicated to exploring abandoned locations in Cleveland, Ohio. In one of his videos, he travels to a decaying 100-year-old Catholic church that was left abandoned long ago. The building that was once a site of architectural beauty now appears to be in a state of severe deterioration, with collapsed ceilings and rotting floors. YouTuber Urbex Hill is carefully making his way through the church when he accidentally captures something very unexpected on the upper floor balcony. Mm. 
Urbex Hill doesn't even notice when right in front of him a wooden plank suddenly just moves on its own. When replaying the footage, it's obvious that there's no reason for this piece of wood to take this strange slide across the floor. Completely unaware of what he just captured, Urbex Hill continues exploring and eventually finds the basement of the abandoned church. Using a flashlight, he walks down into the pitch black cellar, and that's when his exploration becomes the stuff of nightmares. Did you see it? When the explorer pans his camera, a dark shadow can be seen standing in the basement with him. The figure doesn't reflect any light and appears to have no visible features. What makes the footage even stranger is that Urbex Hill had been exploring and looking around the basement for a while before the shadow figure appears. But the only footsteps you can hear are his own. But the story gets even a little bit weirder because YouTube commenter Goya Flava believes that this same creepy dark figure can be seen even earlier in the video. This thing seems to be quietly watching Urbex Hill from a doorway as he explores the main floor of the church. Or could it simply be a very odd trick of the light? What do you think? You can see this full video and many more creepy abandoned explorations over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Down the dark hallway. Popular Italian ghost hunters from the YouTube channel PIT Paranormal Investigation Team travel to an abandoned World War II bunker in a snow-covered valley in the Italian Alps. The bunker is absolutely huge as it goes deep into the mountains and covers multiple floors with many narrow hallways. The creepy location has an even creepier story. Many soldiers lost their lives inside this bunker. And to this day, local residents claim that they often hear unexplained gunshots and wailing shrieks coming from inside the long abandoned shelter. Many believe that the ghosts of the fallen soldiers still haunt the narrow pass and hallways inside the World War II bunker. Paranormal investigation team Paolo, Debra, Jack, Simone, and Marco carefully explore the narrow maze of winding tunnels inside the bunker to investigate the claims of paranormal activity. Eventually, they make their way several floors underground and start walking down a seemingly endless creepy tunnel. But then, the five investigators start to hear strange unexplained noises from deep within the bunker. Understandably, they begin to get a bit frightened and their nerves are on edge. Then, this happens. We're giving you one a jewel. The group is terrified when cameraman Jack suddenly feels something touch his shoulders from his end of the creepy tunnel. And then host Deborah hears something running towards them from the opposite end of the tunnel. They feel trapped and surrounded by something. They decide to just get out of there and find a larger space to continue their investigation. The PIT team conducts a spirit box session and they get some very, very strange answers. Ma c'è qualcuno che ci sta capendo? Senti quanta gente. Ma lo stanno parlando fa di noi. Ma io voglio sapere se qualcuno mi sta sentendo. Even though they are in Italy and are getting mostly Italian responses, Suddenly, they hear a voice on the spirit box speaking English. But things get even stranger as they continue to hear unexplained sounds coming from somewhere inside the bunker. 
As the cameraman Jack explains that it's hard to tell where the sounds are coming from, photographer Simone snaps a picture and captures something terrifying. Guarda lì, che c'è un'ombra. In mezzo al corridoio. In mezzo al corridoio. Ho sentito qualcosa, ragazzi. Ho sentito qualcosa. C'è qualcuno. While taking photos of the tunnel in front of them, Simone captures what appears to be a figure at the end of the hallway. But apparently PIT host Paolo is unfazed. He decides to venture off alone to explore one of the dark tunnels. He sees something absolutely chilling. Hey. Ne abbiamo sentito quei passi correre prima, cioè Sì, sì. Non è che stavano scappando da noi, si stavano già alzando. Hey. Chi c'è? A dark figure walks from left to right at the end of the tunnel right in front of Paolo. He runs after the figure, camera in hand, but when he reaches the spot where the figure disappeared, there's nothing there. Not only that, but there's nowhere the figure could have gone. Just a blocked off tunnel wall of rocks and stone. Whatever the figure was, it seems to have disappeared into thin air. So did the five investigators capture evidence that the ghosts of soldiers are still haunting the abandoned bunker? You decide. You can check out the full four-part series and many more scary adventures over on the YouTube channel, PIT Paranormal Investigation Team. The Gold Hill Hotel. The Gold Hill Hotel in the small town of Gold Hill, Nevada was built all the way back in the Wild West days of the early 1860s. The hotel and the surrounding area have a very dark past. You see, right behind the hotel lies the Yellow Jacket Gold Mine. On April 7th, 1869, in the Yellow Jacket Gold Mine, a raging fire broke out, causing much of the mine to collapse with the workers inside. An estimated 35 miners lost their lives in what is now considered to be Nevada's worst mining accident of all time. Many of the miners' bodies were just never recovered. They remained buried somewhere in the collapsed mine shaft. Their spirits are said to still haunt the area to this day. One of the more active spirits at the Gold Hill Hotel is said to be that of a miner named William who resided in room number five before perishing in the gold mine fire. Today, visitors claim to smell an odd strong tobacco odor when they enter room number five. Others say that they've seen the frightening apparition of a miner roaming the hotel halls. Guests also report that they hear unexplained knocking, things move on their own, and hotel doors slam shut, locking guests outside. Another spirit that is said to haunt the hotel is that of a so-called, quote, lady of the night named Rosie, who stayed in room number four while entertaining men during lonely nights. Just like William, she's sometimes seen in her room, but also aimlessly wandering around the hotel. In a three-part YouTube series, twin paranormal team Ryan, River, Nick, and Wyatt investigate the many claims surrounding the mysterious Gold Hill Hotel and its two lingering unwanted guests. The guys hang bells at strategic locations throughout the hotel as the jingling will detect any movement. And even though there's no draft in the hotel, the bells continue to jingle. That was the bells. No, it wasn't. You hear that? 
No, it wasn't. That jingling? Wait, it wasn't this? No. No, dude, that was two bells. It's on video, and then we, we tried to leave. Me and River both died. What the f? You just heard it! What? The bell! The bell! Did you touch the bells? Who's ringing bells, dude? Do you, you heard it that time? The keys are here. Impossible if they're there. What is that? Who keeps ringing the bells? They hear unexplained voices and the sound of knocking on the walls and ceilings. Now they're coming back. Whoa. Oh. Was that you? No. That wasn't you? No, I swear. That was not me. The team separates and twins Ryan and River are alone in room four, Rosie's room. They hear a noise and suspect that one of their cameras has strangely just turned off for no reason. And your thing just turned off? I don't know if it turned off. It might have turned off, but... Did you hit that? Oh my god, no, I did not touch that. Are you sure? Were you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Are you sure you didn't touch that? I swear on everything. Were you filming? Can we look at that again? Yes, I, I Hang on. look at it right now. As Ryan checks the camera in the bathroom, the cabinet under the sink mysteriously opens on its own. Unfortunately, when Ryan and River look back at their footage, they're disappointed to find that they didn't capture the bottom half of the cabinet as it opened. Please, 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 please. No! Oh, oh man! I didn't catch it. That's not enough proof. It's not. It's no good. Man! I did not touch it! Ryan tries to debunk the possibility that he might have accidentally tapped the cabinet door with his foot. I just don't know how I could. We'll try to open it. I mean, how easy was that to open? Uh, not that easy. We can go ahead and give it a shot. I mean, but then again, if we even play the audio, I didn't even touch it, man. I didn't even bang anything. I didn't touch anything. Now, what Ryan and River don't know at the time is that right after this incident, over in vacant room number five, which was Goldminer William's room, their static camera captures something truly bizarre. Well, if you open that, someone was in here, then thank you. We are definitely not prepared for that. That's for sure. Did it just say fire? It just said fire, right? What's that sound? I don't know. That just said fire. What the f is that sound? While Nick and Wyatt are downstairs and Ryan and River are in room four, next door in vacant room five, a chair inexplicably begins to rock back and forth on its own, almost as if something is sitting there. The twin paranormal team members hear a strange thumping sound, but they have no idea what their static camera is capturing in room five. Later in the investigation, while Ryan sits in the same room all by himself, again, the chair moves. I just heard a groan. I don't know if it was them. Across. Across. Are you across from me? If you are, please move something. River, Nick, and Wyatt are downstairs doing a spirit box session while Ryan is upstairs all alone in room five. He doesn't even notice it. But again, the chair in the corner of the room starts rocking back and forth. Later, things take an even more terrifying turn when the twin paranormal team members are now all together in room five. Next door in empty room four, their static camera captures something truly chilling. Did it just go off? It's ticking. Here I go. Beware. 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 If you can, Nick, um, try and follow where you're getting those spikes. 
Oops. <gasps> what did what did he just say? It's around this area. You didn't see it. Did he breathe before he said anything? No. I just heard a <laughs> Nick is holding an EMF meter that gets triggered by something. And only seconds later, a dark shadow-like mass seems to walk past their static camera over in room four. This is the same room where Rosie, the Gold Hills Lady of the Night, is said to have been seen by many recent hotel guests. So did the twin paranormal team capture evidence of a haunting on camera? Could it be that the ghosts of Rosie and William are still wandering the Gold Hills Hotel after 150 years? Let me know what you think. You can check out the full three-part investigation of the Gold Hill Hotel with even more creepy activity that I didn't show here over on the Twin Paranormal YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. For channel updates, please follow me on Instagram right there and on Twitter right there. I'll see you next week.